Hey guys, it's APR 2K Productions here, and this is my Apple collection as of early 2019. It has grown so much since then, so let's look at what I have now. As you can see, my Apple collection has grown quite a bit since then. This is my current collection as of June 2020. In total, I have 20 Apple devices, that being 7 iPads, 10 iPhones, and 3 iPods. Most of them work perfectly, that being 19 of them. However, two are school locked and one is iCloud locked with no passcode. Other than that, there's one that doesn't go past the Apple logo. Let's take a dive into each of these devices one at a time. My iPhone XR is being used to film. First, we have an iPod Nano third generation. This one is a four gigabyte and it's in pretty bad condition, but it works perfectly and runs version 1.1.3. Next, we have this iPod Nano sixth generation. I've had this thing forever. If you guys have watched my channel, you will recognize this device. Going into settings, you can see that it's an 8GB and runs version 1.2. It's in very good condition, aside from a small crack below the screen. Now on to my only iPod Touch. This is a 4th generation. A lot of you guys should recognize this device and know what's special about it. It's in pretty good physical condition. It's an 8GB iPod Touch 4 and is running iOS 5.1. Now onto my 10 iPhones. This first one is an iPhone 4. As you can see, it's in decent condition. It's not cracked or anything like that. It is 16 gigabytes running iOS 7.1.2 and it's iCloud locked because it's on an old family account that I don't know the password to. Now onto my first ever iPhone. This is an iPhone 4S. It still has its original box with it as well. It is the 2013 iOS 7 revision, which was the final version of the iPhone 4S. It's an 8GB and runs iOS 9.3.5 on AT&T. Sadly, it does also feature a small crack in the back. Now onto my iPhone 5 series of phones. This first one right here is an iPhone 5. It's quite beat up as well as it's been used quite a lot. It also has a dent in the back of it. It is 16 gigabytes and runs iOS 10.3.4. I know these are all pretty standard. It is up until the iPhone 6s and things will get rare. This is my iPhone 5C. As you can see, it's in very good condition on the back in white. Going into the phone, you can see that it is an 8 gigabyte and runs iOS 10.3.3. Going into the battery life app, you can see that it is only at 20% battery health and it only lasts a few minutes before it shuts down. Now onto my iPhone 5S, looking around the outside, it is in pretty much mint condition. This phone has no scratches or marks on it. Going into settings general and about, you can see that this phone is a 16GB iPhone 5S on iOS 11.2.1. .1. This phone's also on Verizon, which means that I could use it as a phone if I want to. Now I probably won't be doing that because this phone has a bad battery, but I only paid $20 for it, so I can't really complain much. Now on to my four 4.7-inch iPhones. These ones you guys will probably find pretty interesting because they're all kind of unique. Let's get into them. First, we'll start out with my iPhone 6. As you can see, it's in pretty much mint condition around the outside as well as on the screen. This phone, unfortunately, is only 16 gigabytes, but is still running iOS 10.0.2. This phone has a few problems, such as the Touch ID doesn't work, as well as the front-facing sensors and front camera don't work. However, the home button still works just fine. Next, we have this absolutely immaculate condition 32GB gold iPhone 6S with its original box. While the screen protector may be shattered, this phone is absolutely mint underneath the screen protector. This phone runs iOS 12.4 and has 84% battery health. Now on to a silver iPhone 6S. This one is in very good condition as well. Going into settings, you can see that this phone's 64 gigabytes and still runs iOS 11.4.1. .1. This phone's in really good condition and works pretty well, apart from the fact that it has kind of a bad battery. It's inconsistent with battery life as well as battery health readings. Now on to my last iPhone 6S. As you can see, it's silver and is in very good condition, aside from a couple small marks on the back. It also has its original box and a couple of the original accessories. This phone also has a very cracked screen protector, but don't let that fool you. The screen underneath is absolutely immaculate. This phone's 32 gigs and still runs iOS 10.3.3. Considering it's the 2016 revision that came with 32 gigs of storage, this phone's still running its original iOS version. Now on to my daily driver and the phone being used to record most of this video. This is a 64 gigabyte iPhone XR in white, which is still running iOS 12.1.2. As you can see, it's in absolutely immaculate condition around the front and back. 
I also have all of the original accessories that this phone shipped with, which are still packaged and brand new. Now on to some other things. This is an iPhone XS 64 gig space gray box. I don't actually own the phone. This is my iPhone 5S's box, which I forgot to show earlier. As you can tell by the box, it was originally an iOS 8 revision, probably early 2015. This is an iPad 6 gen box. And these are my AirPods with their matching box and accessories. Now on to iPads. First, we'll start with this iPad 1 64 gig Wi-Fi plus cellular. As you can see, it's in extremely good condition. Even on the screen, you can see that somebody took very good care of this iPad. However, sadly, it doesn't work as the battery is completely dead. Now on to my iPad 2, which is also in very good condition, though a little bit more beat up than the iPad 1. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition on the screen and works perfectly. It's a 64 gigabyte iPad 2 Wi-Fi only, still running iOS 8.4.1 undowngraded. Now on to an iPad Air 1. This is my first iPad ever. As you can see, it's in very good condition with only minor marks on the corners. Going into settings, it's a 16 gigabyte on iOS 11.4.1 Wi-Fi only. I also have this iPad Air. This one is also a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only and it's running iOS 10.2.1. It's basically the same as the last one, also in very good condition. I also have this iPad 6th generation. This is my current iPad. It's in absolutely mint condition on the back and I have the original box for it. It's running iOS 12.4.1 and is a 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model. I also have these two school locked iPads. They have logos on the home and lock screen, as well as on the back of the case, so I'm not going to show that. They're both dead right now, but do work perfectly fine. The one on the left is a 16GB iPad 4th generation on iOS 10.3.3, and the one on the right is a 32GB iPad 5th generation on iOS 12.0. Hey guys, it's APR here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. If you did, please show some type of support down below just to let me know that you liked it and that you want to see more content. Anyway, with that all being said, I'm APR2K Productions, and that's it for this one.